We get a 50 megapixel rear camera and a 32 megapixel front camera in a smartphone priced under 10,000. Unbelievable. Two stereo speakers, one at the top and one at the bottom for a more immersive audio experience. 90 hertz refresh rate makes everything super smooth. Hi there, here is the newly launched Techno Spark 20. Priced at just 9,499, it's the segment's first smartphone with a 50 megapixel rear camera and a 32 megapixel front camera. Unbelievable. The rest of the specs too seem really nice on paper. We'll dive in deeper. But first, let's quickly start with the unboxing. So here is the retail packaging. This is a 16 GB RAM variant. Plus, you get OTT premium subscription free for 4900. Wow. Some more key features mentioned on the back. All right, let's open it up. Right on the top is the phone itself. Inside you have some paperwork that includes the OTT premium card and the user manual. A transparent TPU cover, very good quality, a USB-C charging cable, a SIM ejector pin, and an 18 watt fast charger. I know, calling 18 watt fast in 2024 is a little funny. But don't forget there are phones still shipping with 10 watt charges in the box, some with none. Alright, let's quickly start with the build and design. So this is the gravity black color. It comes with this design texture with matte finish. Best part, it doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges. Above is the camera module that houses a 50 megapixel dual AI camera with flash. By the way, did you notice the camera module on the back with these three circles gives the phone an illusion of an iPhone Pro. While I was actually taking camera samples, two people asked me, Konsa iPhone hai Anyway, coming to my favorite part, dual stereo speakers. One on the top and one at the bottom. Along with that is the microphone, USB-C port and even a 3.5 headphone jack. Kya baat hai? Then on the side are the power volume rockers and on the other side is the SIM tray that can house two nano SIM cards and a dedicated slot for a micro SD card for storage expansion. The power button also doubles as a fingerprint scanner and it's quite fast and responsive. Check that out. The front display comes with panda glass protection to prevent it against scratches or any kind of physical damage. By the way, this phone also comes with IP53 rating, so mild splashes should be fine. I'm glad it has that protection, but I highly recommend keeping it away from water as much as possible. Let's talk about the cameras as that's one of the hero features of the Spark 20. So here are some shots taken with the 50 megapixel rear camera and they're actually pretty good. Even on an overcast day, it captures really good colors, the clarity is super impressive and even good dynamic range. Here are some taken indoors in low lighting scenarios, really good detail and if held steady, no blur at all. Then glad to see 2K 30fps video recording from the rear camera, considering most phones in this segment never go past full HD video recording. It's also pretty stable and clear. Coming to the front 32 megapixel camera. Now here are some sample images, really good skin tones, images are bright and very clear. Hi there, so here's a video recording from the front 32 megapixel camera on the Techno Spark 20. Now this is a 2K 30fps video which is great considering most budget cameras have barely full HD recording. So this is really really good. Of course, right now we don't have the dynamic range because it's a very gloomy and very foggy day. But I can still say that the quality is really good. Also, the audio that you're hearing right now is being recorded from the mics of this phone. Both the front and rear sensors do a pretty good job in video and picture quality. Coming to the display. So you get a 6.56 inch HD plus LCD display with a resolution of 1612 by 720 pixels. The color reproduction is quite decent and it's tuned really well. Though not a full HD display, the text is quite crisp and readable. Techno claims 450 nits of peak brightness. We tested it briefly outdoors and as you can see, it's very clearly visible. You can also spot the punch hole notch housing the 32 megapixel selfie camera. The 90 Hz refresh rate provides the much needed smoothness to the interface. It's adaptive, so it'll adjust according to the app you're using, helping you increase battery life. Then watching movies and videos are fun on the Spark 20. It goes edge to edge. It's quite clear and crisp. Streaming from apps like Netflix and Prime videos is such a breeze. Then we also played 4K YouTube videos and it maxed out at full HD, which is good enough. YouTube will stream without any lag or stutter. Super fun. As mentioned earlier, two studio speakers, one on the top and one at the bottom. Time for a quick demo. 
So, the speakers get decently loud, the clarity is pretty impressive and what I love the most is that it provides an immersive experience especially while you're watching an action movie. Good job by Techno. Coming to the OS. So it's running Android 13 over high OS 13.5 UI. It's overall quite smooth and well optimized. Surprisingly, not too many pre-installed apps. Sadly, some of them you can't delete, but the good thing is most of them you can, which is good. It's powered by the Helio G85 chipset, which is a good mid-range silicon, it's tried and tested, and performs really well when it comes to handling your day-to-day -day apps. This chipset supports dual 4G and LTE. Sadly, there's no 5G support here. The variant we have came with 8GB LPDDR4X RAM, with support for 8GB virtual RAM expansion, giving you a total of 16GB RAM. It helps launch your apps really quickly. Multitasking between apps is super snappy and responsive. And of course, most recently used apps are also still in memory. Hence, they launch almost instantly. Then we also ran the Antutu benchmark and it scored 2,70,000, which I think is pretty decent. 256 GB storage and we tested the storage speed for that too. And it scored 296 MB read and 261 MB write. I wish this was a little faster, but anyway. Then we also played BGMI and it played pretty smoothly. We got about 30 FPS. There were some drop frames at times, but surely no lag or stutter. Though this is not a gaming centric phone, but still it'll handle it just fine. Coming to the battery. So it comes with the industry standard 5000mAh battery that will easily last you a full day and sometimes even two with light use. It comes with an 18W charger in the box, which takes a little over one hour to fully charge. I wish it came with faster charging, but considering the price, I'm not complaining. It's drastically better than a 10W charger that some of the budget phones are shipping with. Alright, final thoughts. So the Techno Spark 20 takes everything that you look for in a sub 10K phone. It comes with good performance, long battery life, pretty design and solid cameras. Both the 50 megapixel and the 32 megapixel cameras simply rock. Go buy this phone without even blinking. There are two variants available, 128GB for 10,499 and 256GB for 11,499. Plus there's 1000 off with some card offers which I highly recommend you must check out. The sale starts tomorrow, 2nd of February on Amazon. It's available in multiple colors. I'll share the links of all in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check this one out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.